history. People that could have been my aunts and uncles. People that could have been mothers and fathers of the people who are here today. Because the Jews had no place to go. So if you want to have a homeland where those people who historically have been hit by pogroms, by holocausts, then you make sure that Israel stays intact on humanitarian grounds. That's what the liberals are always talking about. Let's be humanitarians. Keep a homeland for the Jews. We see what happens when there is none. The fifth reason that Israel ought to have the land is because, oh wow, they're a strategic ally of the United States of America. Israel is a deterrent, a detriment, an imp impediment to certain groups certain groups that want to destroy democracies all over the world. They keep them from coming to our door more often than not. Israel is our strategic ally. It's good to know that we have a friend in the Middle East on whom we can depend. Not some of these Middle Eastern countries that are so-called allies now, who, by the way, the minute 9-11 took place, all of their citizens jumped up on tables and cheered the death of Americans. So let me tell you, your only friend, and the reason you need to believe that Israel belongs there, is because they are our only strategic ally. And sixth reason that Israel, it's a roadblock to terrorism. I went there and I spent six days on a behind-the-scenes tour about how terrorism is combated in Israel. Were it not for the things they've designed, were it not for the uh, protocols that they've formulated, we would have even more problems here than you see today. Israel has cutting-edge technology. The only problem with America today is we have an administration who doesn't want to use it. We have an administration who thinks that if they were to take a stand against this radical foe, not just foe of Israel's, but foe of the great Satan, the United States of America, that they will lose favor in the courts of the world opinion. Well, guess what? They hate us anyway. I'm not interested in courting public opinion. I'm not interested in what people have to say about the United States of America. I'm not apologizing for the United States of America, and I'm not apologizing for Israel anymore. I stood in the middle of, of Sederat looking at the, the, the Katusha rockets that were exploding every day. Does the world care that Jewish kids run into bomb shelters every 20 minutes? No, they never care about what happens to the Jews, so I'll be darned if I care about what they think about me. And the final, the seventh, and the most important reason why we ought to support Israel is because God said so. And I'm not ashamed to say it. Look it up in the book of Genesis. You heard somebody quote Genesis 13, 14 through 17. The Bible says, the Lord said to Abram, lift up now with your eyes and look from the place where you are northward and southward and eastward and westward for all the land which you see. To you I will give it and to your seed forever. Arise, walk through the land in the length of it and in the breadth of it, for I will give it to thee. That's God talking. And if God said it, that settles it. <laughs>